What's up YouTube? I just want to share with you what I have been recently working on. It's a publishing React uh, React package that will generate the components and containers for you uh, from the CLI commands. So this is an overview about React Plop.js. Let's go and see what its features. <laughs> So we start first by installing the package and we just run the uh, npm install as a globally and then we say npm install uh, react plop.js i uninstall it already i also uh, created a demo project as you can see i am in the demo directory and that's is like just to create react app and it's uh, empty so it's the default react uh, app it will be available uh, globally so we can uh, use it and then we hit enter and that will ask for the file name and this is what uh, the component or the container name so you need to use a camel case so it will be like this and uh, let's say that we have we have a, a field or we have a, a component button and then enter and then is, uh, is it a type script so is it uh, the extension we'll use uh, in this case is tsx or js so by default it will be TypeScript so I'm saying yes and then we choose if it's component or container so we, you can move around by uh, choosing which one so by the arrows up and down and I click on component and what type of the component so uh, we use is a function component or a class component so actually so by default it will be the function component and we say enter and then what do you need next to the files and that's very important because by default you see it's true uh, is already selected the uh, sas model and uh, that will be implemented in your file also so if you keep it like this it will create the sas model and uh, as a template but then you can you also use a css and that will be next to the sas because now you need to uh, to unselect the sauce and that's why by clicking on space so if you click in space then it will be you see that the option says there is no selection so i uh, selecting the css i need a test file and the, the test file will be uh, enzyme so uh, there is uh, i think for testing um, the most two libraries for testing is for enzyme and uh, with the gist uh, and also uh, react testing library so I'm using the enzyme in this case. If there is a feature or maybe if, uh, uh, if you think that uh, uh, something need to be required, uh, maybe uh, ap apply the, in the pull request or maybe apply in the issues to, so I can uh, make a to-do for, for implementing the uh, React uh, testing library also. So for now I say test uh, file and then we have a style guidest i think you need, you need to check the react style guidest uh, uh, documentation about this and then uh, we have a pinned index so this is in case if you have a, a components and there is an index inside uh, index file inside your uh, components so you don't need to export uh, you don't need to import the any file inside uh, inside uh, the components so you can just uh, say uh, bring me the button from the components and then it will add the export here so it will be easier so for larger applications or large projects that's really that's uh, going to be really helpful and then we have a storybook and uh, that's just a template for react storybook so both are the react style guidest and storybook these things you need to consider you need to read about it and then maybe uh, apply uh, uh, maybe choose the file that you need uh, just one thing that for a pad index that you need to have the uh, index file otherwise it will throw an error now let's choose one of them so i will go with the storybook and then we click on enter and that will create the files as you can see it will uh, check if there is a source directory and otherwise it will create it and then it will do another check for components otherwise it will create it and then it will make the button it will make the index typescript 
and then button spec file because we choose a test file you see that's one of the choices we have done and then we have a button model as CSS and that's one of the choices we already have done also so you see that's a CSS modular and then we have button stories and type script file and that's because we choose the story file and then it will format it all these files uh, inside your uh, component so you can see maybe ignore uh, the users but, but you can see that uh, it will uh, format everything and that will use a prettier so it will check the configuration inside your directory if you have a, a prettier uh, config and it will uh, format it uh, otherwise so we go and open the via the vs code and we open the project and let's see we see here the components and you see the components directory is created and inside it there is a button and inside it there is button model css button spec and button stories and index and this is where our component so we start with our component we see it just uh, it's importing the styles from button modular and then we have react and then the type of react there is an interface and there is a button and that will be just for now a paragraph so that's what we see and then the styles will be here and if we go to the styles can we go to the styles hmm. no so if you go to the styles here and you see that's a button model as CSS and then we can use the color as red for now and then you can uh, configure it later. Inside the spec file we see that we have we using <coughs> sorry we using the uh, the enzyme for uh, for testing as I said and then in enzyme uh, we need to uh, import the shallow wrapper and then the shallow and here how do you, how we do this one in the how we do the test normally in the <clears throat> in the in the react that we define the components and normally what we do is uh, define the function and then we can use this function every time and then we define it as a component as a shallow and then we uh, put our component here and here the props the props will be the same as the uh, the imported props from the component so this one uh, in the JS file, so if you create a component with a, a JavaScript component, then we don't have a props, we don't have interface, so this one will be uh, removed. The rest, uh, there is also button stories because we choose a storybook, so this is for stories. And you see that the stories extension actually is, uh, the storybook will look for every file with uh, stories. Actually, I need to, adapt this one so it is actually it is typescript file which is correct but uh, i think the text says is uh, javascript so this one should be like this but it's just a text and then uh, yeah this is a storybook so let's say that we have now uh, inside our components let's say that we have an index file and then we will say this is an index dot typescript and you see that I use TypeScript, not TSX, because this is just for export, so we don't need to use TSX here. And then we run a plop. And we see that, okay, I need an input file. Is it TypeScript? Yes, indeed. Component? Yes. Is it function? No, I need a class. And do you need, and most importantly, because we need to append index in this case, and we choose this one so we select this one and then we click enter and you see that it says export default as an input from dash input and it creates this uh, it's create this uh, typescript uh, class component you see it's a class component type of you see the interface and then it's a class component of type uh, of type component type props and it will use the same logic as in function component the only difference is, is here is that a class component and you see it's also formatted you see that everything is formatted via the uh, modular and now you can what you can actually do is you can create your own config uh, prettier 
and it will look for your config prettier inside your project directory and it will uh, format it as you uh, as you configured so this is in case of you you have a global configuration for your project and you work for multiple teams and then you need to make sure that um, the formatting is applied to every uh, component so in this case the pl react plop.js will take care of uh, of your configuration it will see this and uh, it will check it and it will apply it to your created uh, component we have done the components uh, creation of the components now let's try to use uh, also the containers so we say plop.js again and then we says i need the home I don't know, just a home container, something like this. And then do we need to use a TypeScript? In this case, I don't need to, no. And it's a component or container? No, it's a container. And when I click on container, this is, you see that I don't have that much selection because now uh, for the container, there is no, uh, there is no style, there is no uh, stories. We only have a state or Redux. So you can choose the only state, and that will be internal state. And then uh, if you say Redux state, and that will uh, create a, a Redux with it. Uh, in this case, it will create the map state and the connection of Redux. So let's choose uh, select both of them, and then uh, we click enter and we see that it will create this one inside the uh, demo source containers and you see that a home container js file and we go to the containers you see the home container js file there is nothing in there just this and let's close this one and you see that it's just a react and then it will import the connection uh, connect from redux and down it will use this connect by map state and then map dispatch and this uh, might, it might be not that much but for for typescript it's gonna be a, a lot of types here because uh, actually let's create a typescript because we need also to demonstrate this so we go to plop.js and then now uh, we say about container and then uh, is it TypeScript? Yes, indeed. And then container. And I need a Redux state in both uh, state and Redux state. And then we click enter. And then that will get the about container TypeScript. So in this case, we're using the React. We're using the Connect, but we bring it, uh, bring in by, uh, bring in also uh, Dispatch. We have export uh, uh, export to the interface of props. This is in case of you, if you needed to make a test file, uh, uh, or maybe if you need to uh, combine the interface to another file. And then we have interface for uh, state, because now we have a loading, and then we have a timer, and then everything is comes with the uh, uh, let's say with the types with it with uh, its types. And then we have set state, everything, uh, maybe this is a bit, make it a bit smaller, yeah. And then uh, here we have the interface of store and then we pass the store to it here. And actually this one should be moved, so by you, this one should be moved or implementing the store from another place, so this is just a to-do for you, for you, for anyone who will create the container. And I think that's it. So uh, this is in uh, in nutshell. This is uh, uh, how to create the components, how to uh, create the containers. And I think if we go back, so if we go back here, I also put some to do. Um, actually, it should be two. So one of them is I uh, I'm also working for to add support React Native and also add support uh, maybe for flow type but this is depends if, you, if there is a lot of people asking for this but for now i'm add support for react native if you think that's something you need to be uh, really required and used a lot then uh, don't forget to put this one in the comments below and then i will take a look at it and see if it's uh, possible to implement it also I think that's it guys for this short tutorial. 
So uh, the idea is here that we created a plop.js that will make uh, less work for uh, for teams to have a, to have a common thing that to, to have a common configuration and common uh, impl implementation for any components or containers. So if you like the video, please uh, give it the thumbs up. And then if you are new here, please uh, the sub and the th thumbs up. It will be cool. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.